A distributed denial of service, DDoS attack, is a malicious attempt to disrupt the normal functioning of a targeted website, server, or network by overwhelming it with a flood of internet traffic. This type of cyber attack can severely impair or completely shut down the targeted services, causing significant disruption to users and loss of revenue and reputation for businesses. Below, we explore what a DDoS attack is, how it works, its types, and measures to prevent and mitigate such attacks. Definition of a DDoS attack A DDoS attack leverages multiple compromised computers, known as a botnet, to generate massive amounts of traffic directed at the target, overwhelming its resources and making the website or service unavailable to legitimate users. How a DDoS attack works 1. Botnet creation Compromised devices, attackers use malware to infect and control large numbers of devices, computers, IoT devices, etc., turning them into a botnet. Command and control, C2, servers. The botnet is controlled via C2 servers, which send instructions to the compromised devices. 2. Launching the attack coordinated traffic. The attacker instructs the botnet to send an overwhelming amount of traffic to the target. This can include various types of data packets. Traffic flooding. The target servers, network devices and bandwidth are flooded with traffic, consuming resources and preventing legitimate requests from being processed. 3. Impact on the target service disruption. The target website or service becomes slow or unresponsive, leading to downtime and disruptions for users. Potential damage. Extended downtime can lead to financial loss, damaged reputation, and frustrated users. Types of DDoS attacks There are several types of DDoS attacks, categorized primarily by the method used to overwhelm the target. 1. Volumetric attacks Description These attacks aim to consume the target's bandwidth by sending massive amounts of data to overwhelm the network. Examples UDP floods, ICMP, ping floods, DNS amplification attacks. 2. Protocol attacks. Description. These attacks exploit weaknesses in network protocols to disrupt services. They consume server resources or intermediate communication equipment, such as firewalls or load balancers. Examples. SYN floods, fragmentation attacks, ping of death. 3. Application layer attacks. Description. These attacks target specific applications or services, aiming to exhaust resources such as CPU, memory or database connections. They are more sophisticated and may appear as legitimate requests. Examples. HTTP GET POST FLOODS Slow Loris Layer 7 Attacks Techniques to prevent and mitigate DDoS attacks. 1. Advanced Network Architecture Load Balancing Distribute incoming traffic across multiple servers to prevent any single server from being overwhelmed. Anycast network. Use Anycast routing to direct traffic to multiple nodes in a network, dispersing the load. 2. DDoS mitigation services. Cloud-based solutions. Employ cloud-based DDoS mitigation services that absorb and filter malicious traffic before it reaches your network. Content delivery networks. CDN. Use CDNs to cache content and distribute traffic globally, reducing the impact on the origin server. 3. Rate limiting traffic control. Implement rate limiting to control the number of requests a user can make to the server, preventing overwhelming traffic levels. 4. Web application firewalls, WAF. Filtering. Deploy WAFs to filter and block malicious traffic at the application layer, protecting against sophisticated application layer attacks. 5. Redundancy and failover. Backup servers. Maintain backup servers and alternate paths for traffic to ensure continuous service availability. Automatic failover. Configure automatic failover systems to switch to backup resources when primary resources are under attack. 6. Traffic analysis and behavior monitoring anomaly. Detection. Use tools to monitor and analyze traffic patterns, detecting anomalies that may indicate a DDoS attack. 
real-time response. Implement systems capable of real-time response to mitigate the attack as soon as it is detected. 7. Rate limiting traffic control. Implement rate limiting to control the number of requests a user can make to the server, preventing overwhelming traffic levels. 8. Incident response plan, preparedness. Develop an incident response plan detailing actions to take in the event of a DDoS attack. This includes contact lists, communication strategies, and steps to mitigate and recover from the attack. Legal and ethical considerations 1. Compliance regulations. Ensure compliance with relevant regulations and standards related to cybersecurity and data protection. 2. Collaboration with ISPs, cooperation. Work with Internet Service Providers, ISPs, to identify and block malicious traffic at the network level.